Yeah, no, no, I can't talk right now. No, I gotta come up with an idea for doing indie about love and in indie. Uh, they make they want me to do something. They're making me kind of put something together about romantic places and intimate settings and how Indianapolis is really a romantic town. Yeah, no, I don't I I, I don't believe in love. So I gotta come up with something that makes my audience think that I'm believing in what I'm saying. Yeah, I got, I'll figure something out. All right, I'll talk to you later, man. All right, bye. Love in Indy, huh? Love in Indy. Ooh, where did you come from? Well, Seth, don't you know who I am? I think you're one of uh, the backup dancers for Justin Timberlake, aren't you? No, I'm Cupid, Seth, and I've Cupid. been listening to you cry and moan about not finding any love, and I'm starting to think you don't believe in love anymore. You know what, Cupid, I don't, and, and, and it just... I'm having a hard time coming up with ideas for this show because I don't believe in love. I just don't, I don't buy into it. Well, Seth, you know what I'm going to do for you? I'm going to take you on a magical journey through Indianapolis and show you that love does exist. And we're going to start with two of Indianapolis's most romantic restaurants. Really? Really. You ready to go? I'm going to give you a shot, man. Let's go, Seth. Where are we? Well, Seth, this is one of the most romantic spots in Indianapolis. Really? Dunaways. Dunaway? I've, I've been here before. This is where couples can get one of the most unique dining experiences ever. Really? Yeah. Well, what is that, Cupid? Tell me. It's a chef's table. A chef's table? And I tell you what, our good friend Angie over here, she'll oh. tell you all about it. I gotta go hunt me some more love dubs. Well, you know, you know, actually, I do know this person right here. This is Angie Mack. She was in our Dunaways episode. We shared a beer together. It's good to see you again, Angie. At least one. Yeah, we did, just at least one. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess, is Cupid right? I mean, is this one of the most romantic restaurants in Indianapolis? Absolutely, absolutely. We've got ambiance all over the restaurant, but if you want to go to the chef's table, it's a nice little private area. Two people can sit back there and enjoy the dining experience at whatever pace they would like to. If they want to stop for a while and just gaze into each other's eyes, there's no problem with that. Hmm. There are not a lot of other people walking around looking at them. So. so we're back in the kitchen at Dunaway's. We've got Rolf Meister Hans. He's not German. He's not Swedish. He's Swiss. And that is correct. And I'll let you know, he's Swiss. Don't, don't mistake don't that. Don't mess that up. No. But he's a great chef here at Dunaways. He's been in Indiana for a while. It's pretty cool that you guys have this chef's table back here because it's really just a, a cool, intimate dining experience, isn't it? Yes, we do like to have the intimate atmosphere. Um, you know, take care of each, each customers. You know, be doing a little foo foo stuff. You know, sometimes they go all out. Um, we do an eight nine course meal. Like I said, it's ninety five dollars a head. Um, you know, you uh, tell me what you kind of prefer, and we'll kind of figure out what you have on allergies. And now we take it from there, and you just come on in, and we we'll just wine and dine you for a couple hours, and you have a great evening. You know what, Cupid? I'm still not convinced that there's love out there for me. I mean, I just don't think it exists for someone like me. Seth, love is a beautiful thing. You need to enjoy it. Give me one more opportunity to change your mind. I don't, I don't know. I, I just don't think it's for me, man. Please, do it for me, Seth. Do it for your Cupid. All right. One more place, one more chance, and that's it. Fantastic. You know where I'm taking you next? Is it some type of um, disco clothing store? No, I don't use clothes. I'm taking you to the melting pot. The melting pot? It's a fantastic place. It better be. Come this, on, this, Seth. This is your last chance. Okay. Where the heck are we, Cupid? Oh, Seth, we're in the melting pot. You need to pay attention more. We went over this. This is Brett. He's the general manager of this melting pot facility. Brett, how are you? Fine, how are you doing? Hey, Seth, I gotta go. I got stuff I gotta go do. The A-team can't even handle. Here you go. All right, have fun, Cupid. So, um, so Brett, Cupid brings me here because apparently this must be some type of uh, romantic, intimate restaurant, right? The melting Correct. pot? Correct, that's so, what we're known for. So, tell me about the uh, what the melting pot is. Melting pot is it's a fondue restaurant. Uh, there's two of us in Indianapolis. We're the only fondue restaurants in the city. 
Uh, we're known for our romantic atmosphere. We're known for uh, our long dinners, where you actually get a chance to become reacquainted with uh, with the people you come to dine with. Now, what are we standing in right now? Because this is, I mean, this is really, really intimate right here. This right here is known as our lover's lane. Mm -hmm. uh, it's intimate seating for two. It's like having your own private dining room mm -hmm. amongst a, a large restaurant. We average several proposals per week. It's a great place for that. You're away from, from children. You're away from all other adults. You become reacquainted. You're, it's intimate talking with each other. People have no idea how hard this job is. 14 days of love and all that stuff. Get the camera out of my face! Go! Get! Come on! Barky! Hit me again! Okay, you know what? Seriously, this whole transport thing, going back and forth, yeah, it's got to stop or there's going to be a serious beatdown. Oh no, Seth, I lost the last guy. You've been doing good so far. But hey, did you... Did I change your mind about love in Indianapolis? You know what, Cupid? You did. Because I, I never realized that I could take my ex-girlfriend someplace. I mean, the whole reason why she broke up with me is she said that I couldn't be romantic. I didn't take her to any of these intimate restaurants, and, and she felt like that she was never special. But you know what, Cupid? You, you, sir, it. You were the one who showed me that I could do those things for her. I love her. Her name is Marjorie. Here's a picture of her. And I'm going to go get her, Cupid, because you've told me that I can do those things. I love her. Do you hear me? I love her. I'm coming for you, Marjorie. You go get her, Tiger. Well, folks, she sure was hot. Well, remember, folks, if you want to get out there in Indianapolis and go to a great romantic spot to propose or rekindle that old flame or even have and celebrate that special anniversary, get out there to those two fantastic restaurants, Dunaways and the melting pot. And remember folks, in Indianapolis it's so easy to do so much, especially to love somebody. You just gotta get out there and do something. Bye! So damn right.